politics in America, especially the Western, mm -hmm. are not good. How do how did you deal with the gender issue? Yeah, very difficult. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> very difficult. I just like to say that you know the, the sites, the organizations, the people that I featured are not the only ones working in these areas. There's so many, many more. But I just took a few examples, right? And the question of Buddhist women in the West is a big one, and it looks different depending on where you stand. There are so many different traditions in the United States. There's so many different monasteries. Um, so many different situations. It's hard to know where to start. I generally start by recognizing that there are three different Buddhist communities in the United States, or North, let's include North America in general. Um, that would be the ethnic Buddhist communities, like you mentioned, you're from Taiwan, you live in a Taiwanese Buddhist community, you're completely provided for, right? They know they're supposed to feed them. Yeah, that's good. The Westerners don't know that. Yeah. <laughs> no. um, then you have the Asian American Buddhist population. The Chinese American, Japanese American communities. They've been in the United States for more than 100 years. Right? They traced back to 1868. And they get virtually no attention. But in, in academic research, Kenneth Tanaka now is doing research. But otherwise, you know, people forget. That the largest organization in the United States is Jodo Shinshu by far. 150,000 members. No academic, I'm very work on it. And the third community would be what in Hawaii we call the Hollywood. <laughs> Hollywood is means, uh, well, other, I think perhaps probably non Asian Buddhists would be more accurate. <coughs> we just colloquially say that. But Hali, which generally refers to white people, is also not completely accurate because we also find in this group, you know, Native American, African American, Samoan American, all kinds of people, right? Um, now, the differences that I see is that in the, the traditional Buddhist communities, they already know about karma, rebirth, you know, all the basics, the Buddhist story, you know, they have, they're coming from a place of, of faith, and um, they support the monastics. And they're interested in um, creating merit. They're quite happy to support rituals for protection and blessing. Right? And ultimately, they like to get nirvana. They love to get enlightened. Right? Now, going to the American Buddhist community, the, the non-Asian American community, I mean, I don't hope I don't offend it, but I've been teaching, you know, groups in the United States for a long time, and Canada. And I find that a lot of American, uh, non-Asian American Buddhists have real trouble with the notion of karma, rebirth, right? It's just really hard. I'll, I'll teach a group for two or three years, and the same question will come up. And so, um, but they're really good in meditation. They, they really do their homework in, in Buddhist studies. So their strengths, you know, in each community, they're not it's at all concerned about accumulation of merit. Mm -hmm. Sounds like folk fairy tale, you know? Protection and blessing, hey, you know, fun to watch, but. <laughs> um, nirvana, nirvana sounds very far away. They're interested in Buddhist psychology. How can I get over my anger? How can I get over my passion? Jealousy, you know, that sort of thing. Um, they're interested in philosophy. You know, where did the world begin? What did the Buddha say? Where is the I? You know, these kinds of philosophical questions. And they're interested in social activism. They're activists. They want to see how these teachings apply to the world, the real problems of the world. And so, you know, American, non-Asian American Buddhists are on the front lines of the Occupy movement, the anti-nuclear movement. Uh, the anti-war movement, and um, yeah, I, I would count myself a moment. <laughs> so, yeah. Yes. I think about those words. Um, I was curious about this topic of um, categories, mm -hmm. the example of the category of feminism, mm -hmm. and I'm really curious about um, you call yourself a feminist, mm -hmm. yes, and very proudly, and if so, why, and, and if not, 
why would someone go up? I don't know. <laughs> Uh, when the woman joined the Sangria and the Damaru will be 